Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today I bring you a very very fucking special video and there are several reasons for that. As many of you already know, I have spent some time lately reacting and analyzing a lot of different top drummers out there and today I'm going to bring you a video that's not available anywhere else on the planet and that's Mike Portnoy playing the isolated drum track for the dance of eternity. To me personally, this is without any doubt on the top three of the best drum tracks ever created and today we are going to react and explain everything and also this brings me to the reason number two why this video is so special i can actually explain all the details on this song because this song has some story for me okay when i was younger like way younger i met a girl that i wanted to fuck and the thing is that she was into this kind of progressive music and i was not and she knew that i was a drummer and one one day she asked me if I could play this song. Can you play Dance of Eternity? And truth is, I had never ever listened to this band before. But you know the drill, it took me 7 days, 7 whole days practicing again and again. So long story short, I truly memorized this song and all the little details that appear and also I fucked her. You know, like a lot. I was laying some good pipe in there, so I got to discover what was going to become my favorite drum track ever I fucked a very beautiful girl and now I'm able to explain all the details that are going to happen using a video that no one has ever seen before so with all of that being said let's react to the king of drums mr. Mike Portnoy playing the dance of eternity let's go with it he's not playing those notes I thought he was playing them probably he recorded them on another track and now he's going to play the real drums right so it's just snare drum same pattern a little bit softer let's keep going Let's stop right here, this is the intro of the song and we are going to notice three things, right? The first one, he's playing all the huge accents with cymbals and the bass drum. The second one, we've got something happening all over the song and this is a signature move by the king, Mike Pornoy and those are the fucking flams. Used with an amazing sense of musicality all over the drum kit and of course there's a special place for rudiments. Let's see how we can combine those three elements together. That is some power right there. This is one of the best intros ever. Let's keep watching. Why is this a masterpiece, right? Because a lot of you are going to say, Oh, this is not that technical. It's not fast. That's not so special. Well, shut up. Okay, please, shut up. Imagine the situation, the guitar player comes in, hey, I got a riff for you, lay some drums. Come on, now look me in the eye and tell me that you could come up with something as special and creative as this fucking group. That is unbelievable and I bet you a thousand dollars that no one that's watching this video right now would be able to come up with something like that. Let's keep watching. Now let's start with the specifics. How can you create something like that? Right here we are watching the same structure happening again 
and again and again. We have the main accents with the cymbal and the bass drum and he's going to use rim shots in between the accents. However, in order to fill the gaps that are a little bit longer, he's going to use this structure again and again. Two rim shots, right, left, and then he's going to roll through the toms using singles. And there's something very special. He's never landing with a crash with the right hand. Well, in this case, he is, because he is a fucking machine, but he has to play two consecutive notes with the same hand. If you play those patterns like a regular drummer, it would sound like this. Let's keep watching, this is gold. Now that feel was very interesting because you don't hear that often. All the feels with the toms and the bass drum always happen in the opposite order. He was playing them from the low end drums like the floor tom to the high end drums like the regular toms, okay? You always listen to but never that's a special, that's something he was doing and no one else had done that before. But also the technique that he's using to create that group is wonderful, okay? He's keeping the same ostinato with the bass drum and he's using the flams in order to enhance the music and it's a very interesting movement and it's very simple. Check this out, you can play this too. Nice, that was nice, that was good. I don't know if he was the first person to ever do that, but I can guarantee you he was the first person I ever saw doing that. So it really had a huge impact on my drumming career. Placing the flams on the toms over the bass drum ostinato. That is a power move and I love it. Let's keep watching. Again, that's the same structure that we were explaining before. Two notes, accents with rim shots, cymbals, and then we are going to play a certain amount of toms, but we are always going to end with the left hand on the crash, right? However, there is something very special, a small detail that no one notices. This is the only time on this song that he's going to break that two rim shot composition pattern because on the last phrasing, the last one, he's going to use three snares. Again, pay attention, check this out. Okay, that was wonderful. Have you seen how he's able to change the feeling of whatever he's playing just by changing the placement of the hands? He's not changing anything on the bass drum. The pattern is still the same. Just changing the hands and the placement of those hands, you can transition to a very cool polyrhythm. Check this out. It's very simple and you must know how to do this. Apart from what's happening with your hands, everything else is still the same and you are going to create a time illusion that's totally priceless. Again, something else that I learned more than a decade ago that I'm still using nowadays thanks to this guy right here, Mike Pornoy and this wonderful composition. Let's keep going. Clamps again.
Now, we are going to see a lot of concepts that are repeated again and again all over the song. As you have just seen, the use of flams while playing the double bass in order to give melody to the whole song is happening again and again. In fact, it did just happen again. But also, this time illusion, this polyrhythmic movement that I have just explained has just happened again. The same pattern that he's playing on the break on the floor tom is happening at the same time with the guitar, right? And in order to create that polyrhythmic movement, all you have to do is change the placement on the hands. It's very fucking simple, but the way that they orchestrated everything is just amazing. Check this out. We got that phrasing happening again and again, maybe not on the drums, but it was happening on the guitar. And the only thing that we had to do in order to transition from one group to another that has a totally different feeling was just to change the placement of the hands. Now, of course, this is a very simple breakdown. He was not doing that on the song. On the song, he chose to play just one bass drum. Togodogu. But it is the same concept, the same fucking concept happening again and again. So don't blink because you are going to miss a lot of things. Let's keep watching. That right pattern was crazy. It is a very good idea. This has a lot of flavor. It's not really a challenge for the technique. It is a challenge for the musicality. And that's what made this so special to me. So again, we're playing the same ostinato with the bass drum. But a lot of different things are happening all over the drum kit. And on this case, we're talking about the accents on the right. He chose to play everything with two hands. You can play it with two or with one. It does not matter. It sounds like this. Something interesting. What was happening on the break on the floor, Tom? And on this group, what happens if you take the bass drum and the snare away? What's going on with that right pattern? Well, the same. It is actually the same fucking pattern. So it is a brilliant fucking way of composing a song. You keep listening the same fucking pattern and he's just throwing examples again and again of the thousands of possibilities that you have in order to play over that pattern. You got the floor tom only, you got the flams with the bass drum, you got that really slow powerful groove. And now you get this double bass and a very weird snare placement but the same pattern keeps happening on the bell of the right cymbal. This is just fucking brilliant. Let's keep watching. That is pure gold. The only thing that I'm going to say about that, it is a very interesting use of the accents. The unique way that he has to compose things that really flow with the music, but also have a lot of accents is fucking brilliant. And now here we go with the madness. Swing pattern. That's wonderful. I gotta admit that that was the first time that I ever heard of that swing pattern inside a music that was not swing at all. That really caught me off guard and of course I had never played that pattern before until I had to memorize this song. So both the snare pattern and the swing pattern on the right caught me off guard and I really really fucking love them. Let's keep watching. However, now we got a lot of solos so the only thing that Mike is going to do is to keep the fucking groove in order to let his bandmates shine and that is a a lesson for all of us. Let's keep going.
flams again and again flams on the toms we are keeping the same ostinato with the bass drum and he's using flams don't forget about that there's a spice in there he has the air guitar and everything awesome If that's not what you consider a perfect use of the flams on the snare drum, I don't know what is. That phrasing is fucking brilliant. He's playing all the accents, but he's dropping some fucking brilliant flams on the snare. Check this out, it sounds wonderful. Also, it's not that easy to play that pattern. Sometimes you have to start with your right hand, sometimes with your left hand. You have to play a bunch of fucking flams. They have to sound clean. It is actually pretty challenging. It requires some stamina. I'm already sweating. Let's keep going. This is about to end. Check out the use of accents in here. Brilliant. With crossovers and everything. Unbelievable. That is something that has a name on my vocabulary, I call that a killer part. For real, there are a lot of killer parts composed over the centuries. This is one of the hardest ones. As you were watching, he's not only playing the accents, but he's also using this weird constant crossover. It's constantly developing into more complex patterns and then it turns into something even more difficult because the accents stop happening only on the hi-hat and start happening on a lot of different surfaces. You know, you have all of those crazy effects, symbols, and he's orchestrating everything perfectly while playing all the accents is a very interesting form of composing this does not have the shape of a groove no one was doing this this is a special this is unique creative original this is not too bad too too bad no 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 a lot of fucking things are happening in here the accents are always happening with a strong stroke on the right hand on whatever surface he's hitting but we have a bass drum going on as well and he's also playing those accents with the bass drum at the same time and then he's filling almost the rest of the gaps with the snare notes but he's also adding little notes on the hi-hat and the other cymbals it's just amazing this way of composing opened a whole new world for me check this out it's a very interesting way to play all the accents on a song There is not a single gap that has not been filled and even we are filling everything with notes. It's like nothing's happening, it just fucking grooves and that is very very fucking hard to do. Okay, let's keep watching. You have seen that same structure for a fill, snare and then cymbals with the bass drum a thousand times on a thousand bands, well that happened here for the first time, so I don't know, some credit maybe, check that out. You've heard a thousand variations over this fill, it happened here, let's keep going.
The amount of variations that happen on the hi-hat while he's playing are unbelievable considering that again he's never losing the musicality and that is the most important part for me and for the rest of the musicians so that hi-hat group with all the different placements is just crazy check that out Now we are done. Let's end the song, shall we? Whenever I was not able to memorize that, I used to sing numbers, okay? If you are ever lost trying to play this kind of accents, just sing it, it works. And we are done. Okay guys, you know me, I always like to do like a big speech once we have reacted to everything, but for real, I do not think it's needed here, for one reason, there is no song that has taught me more than this one, for real, study this song and everything that's happening in here, and this is just 6 minutes, you are going to have enough material to practice for a lifetime, and that's why I say that this is probably one of the best drum tracks ever, because the amount of knowledge that's hidden inside this masterpiece has no value it's totally priceless i can say without a single doubt that the drummer that i was before was definitely not the same drummer that i became after learning this song so no it's not the fastest maybe it's not the hardest one maybe it does not have a ridiculous amount of technique but what it does have is a fucking unbelievable amount of musicality and that's why i guarantee you that if you don't know how to play this song you are wasting your time as a drummer and i cannot thank that girl in enough for made me learn this song in order to fuck her and with all of that being said all my respect goes to the master himself mr mike portnoy god bless him he's a fucking machine he's one of the best to ever do it he changed my drumming career and if you don't know his music yet he's about to change yours too if you want to support my work all you gotta do is just drop a like share this video and of course you can post a couple of comments suggesting who else should i react to next and if you want to check all of my merchandising i'm going to leave you the link right here because it really helps me to keep the business running you've got hats hoodies beanies shirts drumsticks and everything thank you all guys for staying here with me on this wonderful evening stay safe practice enjoy your practice and see you all very soon on the next videos buddies stay safe and take care bye